Hi guys, it is Quiet Kitty Viral here. Welcome to welcome to a new video. I hope you are new here, and if you are, please sub to my channel and please like this video. Now today, I want to explain about Program Town. Now, not too long ago, I just made the trailer, and I um, posted it on my channel. Um, so a lot of you, maybe maybe some of you guys may have questions about what the heck Program Town is. Why I made it. And I will be happy to explain those for you. Now, the first question uh, you might, you guys might have is, why did I create this AU in the first place? Well, I thought that since Camilla Cuevas, other people have been creating AUs themselves, not all people, but some, I thought it would be interesting if, what, since I have my YouTube channel, I could create my own series of program tale. Now, though, I, I have a slight twist with it, because I'm not sure if somebody has already created the AU, because it is pretty much a basic name for an AU. So, um, comment down below if maybe Program Tale is your AU, and you're a YouTuber or something, and you made that. I, I'm not sure. Um, and second off, it, well, let's, hold on, I, I haven't fully explained the first question. I've created the AU because I thought it would be fun and it would give entertainment to you all if I were to actually make a full series that will have 10 seasons and, like, an a like animate the entire 10 seasons and each season would have 10 episodes. I thought it would be very entertaining for you because Undertale. Undertale's pretty much the popular game. Also, I want to, um... Also, at the end of this video, just a quick reminder, at the end of this video, I will be doing shoutouts. Shoutouts, and I have never done shoutouts before. Um, it's only, like, to thank the people, um, about how nice they are and stuff. And, okay, okay, continue with the first question. Um, I'm getting off topic here, but, okay. So, yet again, explaining that, I've decided to create my own AU. And entertain you guys with a lot of the animations. And right now, this was only a trailer, and this took me like an hour <laughs> to create the trailer because I have this um, app called Animation Studio. Um, it, may, it lets you animate, um, and I thought it would be it would it's very useful. So I would always use it for my animations. Now I suggest you guys to use it. Now, second question. What is Program Tale about, and what's the main protagonist? Now, people never really use Sans as a main protagonist that much. People mainly use Kara, Azriel, or um, Frisk, mostly Frisk, as a protagonist. And I thought, why not put a little twist here and make my main protagonist for my AU series... Sans, and Sans actually plays an important role for the program tale. There will be the other characters, obviously, and I will tell you why in a second. Um, and Sans, basically, if you want to know the AU name for, for the Sans, program Sans. And, um, I think you all, because everybody, oh, first off, I actually want to explain one more thing with this question. And people actually have names like the Underswap Sans Blueberry and the Underpell Sands, Cherry, and I wonder if anybody will name my AU Sands something. I thought, could I do it myself? Um, I kept thinking, um, what was the perfect thing or nickname for my main protagonist Sands? And the best thing popped out in mind. Thyme Sands, and, or Watermelon Sands. <laughs> Um, so I thought those were going to be the best ones, otherwise it could be a vegetable, like broccoli sands. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, the main story of Program Tale. Now, Program Tale is about sands. Now, sands, apparently, what I've made up, because I thought it was going to be very creative. So, sands is the main protagonist, and in the story of Program Tale, 
Sans needs to find his way past and, and walk around or run around the um, mechanical network systems. And it and he is right now in between past and future and erased timelines. And he must find his way to get to his past self, his past self's timeline. And tell him that he shouldn't, um, because basically his AU was erased because of, um, because of, basically he had, there was war between all the time on, it was, there was war between the error, error sands, and a war between program sands' AU. I'm just spitting right now, hope I'm not getting dizzy, I should stop. Okay, so, there was a war between Error Sans and Program Sans' AU, with Toriel, Frisk, Kara, Azriel, Azriel Deemer, um, Flabby, Omega Flabby, anything like that. And program, program Sans' AU had lost, and he needed to, he needed to remind or warn his past self about the future, so then the AU can be saved. And the way he's going to do that, um, first off, he's going to be going into obstacles that have many problems that could make his decisions be regretted. And that could have a major impact into the story. And secondly, he has to decide, since he's in between life and death, also, he has to decide whether he'll survive or he'll die. Now I have a secret third question for you all, and I think this would be a really good question to answer for you if you got it. What is Program Sans' main role in the story? Now, of course, I already told you he's the main protagonist, but that's not all. I also want to explain why, um, I want to explain his role. His role is that he not like his role basically is like a like a a reporter to his own AU. <laughs> it's like he's a warner, and he would warn his pat his past self and to from the future and other people's past selves of the future and his second the main 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 role for the story is a surprise. Now, a surprise will be shown at the last episode of Season 10. There's something about Gast. And Gaster will be seeing you soon. <laughs> so, I hope I have answered some of you guys' questions, and now, Gaster will be seeing you momentarily. <laughs>